there's Kevin with the Rogue Market. Here with another one of these Russian doll reviews where Magic the Gathering creates a massive product. And then inside this product is a box with a box with a box with a pack that then immediately opens. Uh-oh. I've been worried about some of these saying they're resealed. This is the second take of this video because I didn't turn on the audio and actually opened up an amazing pack with the first one. But anyway, these are called Omega Packs from um, the Double Masters 2022, which were released at big box stores. But apparently theft is such a problem at the Targets and Walmarts that uh, the company that supplies those end up pulling a lot of these off the shelves. And then they've been resurfacing now. I don't know if, if or if, I don't know if, how it exactly works. If Wizards just didn't restock them and now they decided to go through the regular chains of dis distribution. But local game stores were allowed to get a few of these from their preferred distributor. All these Omega packs that were meant mainly just for the uh, big box stores. And so it is just one pack in all of this waste of a product so again so misleading for people that don't know exactly what they're buying the msrp for these suckers are like what are these like 90 bucks for omega packs they cost me i think around 60 to buy like not the greatest spread but it's double masters double masters is still aging very well in fact i have been known to say on my discord why buy anything right now except for double masters like this when they create a product that is just superior to every other product why in the world would you ever ever buy any other product when when you can get just massive value out of you know this particular product and with that being said the uh ev of these are actually right around 60 bucks like that's your expected value out of a collector's booster now the 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 uh it's definitely gone down uh, to the point where the it's 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 basically you have to hit a a etch card or a a either a, a etch card that's worth money. There are a particular couple of mythics that are worth money, like Imperial Seal or the textured cards. I personally think textured cards are going to go down in value because there's just really nothing special about them except just having some texture. We've seen the uh, things like Expeditions or go back to Zendikar Rising with the lands that came out of the, in the specialty lands that came out of the, the box toppers. All those had like a big multiplier. If you look at like Liliana right now with from the normal version to the textured version, there's a huge multiplier. And I think that those are going to, they're going to meet together. So if I were to invest in, in singles, from the, the Double Masters 2022, I would just go for staples over like the chase cards, like the the uh, etched or the texture. Because I think those are the ones that are going to go down in 2023 and 2024. They're ones that are going to continue to just, uh, I think they're overpriced at the moment. And the cards that are going to go up are just your, your average card that sees a lot of play uh, if they do dodge reprints. So that's kind of the big warning sign about Double Masters though, is now this is a signal that every two years, they're probably going to do Double Masters. And remember, Double Masters was twice as much as Ultimate Masters. I mean, it was, it was this, they've really pushed the envelope with this. They've, they've just cramped back a lot of value in this set. There's, I'm actually worried for Magic because I don't know how much longer they can do this. They've really, really messed with their equity, especially with set boosters now having the list cards in them. And even things like Time Square Remastered, bringing a lot of other stuff in with the, um, the old border printings of those. And they've already really uh, uh, siphoned off a lot of their uh, reprint equity. And so I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much magic uh, has in it. The good news though with magic though, is the more cards they print, that just means there's less eligibility for them to reprint in a particular you know, product. So in all honesty, that means they need to create more product if they want to be able to reprint at the same level. So I don't know, that's kind of the million dollar question with it. Singles have definitely struggled in the past year or so just with the overprinting of magic, but also sealed product has where you see just uh, other products like the Baldur's Gate being blown out. We've basically seen every collector's edition uh, go for uh, cheaper than the distributor price, except for Kamigawa. And Nuka Penna and these and Innistrad, in my opinion, are not. Both the Innistrad sets, Nuka Penna, they weren't bad sets. But the whole problem with this day and age with Magic the Gathering is when they create double masters, why in the world would you purchase anything else but double masters? Unless you're looking to draft, unless there's particular cards you have to have. Uh, but... This is where all the money is in these type of packs, even with it being costing a much higher uh, cost uh, per pack and so forth, you still get better value out of these because it's just jam packed full of value. Uh, Wizards must make a killing off of this crap too uh, for, for charging how much they do for this. It's this tiny little pack. So hope this sucker wasn't resealed. I mean, it split open like it was resealed. Wow. Yeah, this is sketch. 
this is super sketch how that just like how the pack just completely uh disintegrated so let's see if we we actually get a good pack or if it's going to be trash or whatnot so a uh, funny thing about this set too if you've been noticing the foils are sometimes the cheapest version of these common zone commons there is not a common now that's over two dollars um and there is very few uncommons that are over two dollars and, and mainly they're going to be full art full art foils at over two so it actually is a good time to start picking up like the commander staples and modern staples from this set because they typically do go up in value if you ever do buy bulk look for double masters because things like momentary blink they they, they have real world value this is a card you can actually sell uh whereas like a, a you know the average card out of any other set uh good luck you know even getting a quarter out of them so buy lists eventually will start to buy these if they're not printed in every commander deck going forward that's another warning sign uh with the overprinting is is you know two commander sets per or two commander decks per set at least so dominaire is coming out with two more um and they've just been printing 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 those commander sets which then have you know a lot of these like staple type low-end cards anyway let's get on to the good stuff here so i mean look at this there's just great staples throughout this like because ollie pride mage used to be a, a really good um a modern card still is played decently in commander um you know earth an earth is a great modern card slash popper card flicker wisp been printed a billion times otherwise it, it, it at one point was worth some money but again huge staple in in commander apologies for lighting the lighting does not like to pick up these these foils whatsoever got the summer balloon which is a band card modern and then we have the demir aqueduct of course these are commander staples of bring your emissary of modern and popper staple now thought scour on our full art foil uh and then another kazali pride mage we had two for with it oh allosaur shepherd so we can safely say this wasn't searched because this is a mythic that does hold value but i don't know even with this card if we're up to our value uh yet with the allosaur shepherd and we get oh okay we get a top so that's one of the better rares to get out of the set of full art top out of the uh mix and the etchville green sun zenith another you know decent rare definitely a good rare highly sought after for multiple formats um and okay <laughs> yeah this one wasn't i thought this was uh textured for a second but the full art emrakul uh beautiful card um actually i don't know if it's worth the greatest for this one uh in this set but i think we i don't know i'm do we make our 60 bucks back from here because i'm not sure much emrakul is going for at the moment i know the 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 uh the textured one is, is going for like 125 is last time i looked at it but yeah the top and the allosaurus is a great one so i can see they say these aren't surged i can tell how people would you know this would happen to them and then then they get a crap pack and then immediately like oh see these are resealed they don't touch them I've, I've heard of horror stories people have cases of these and you also are trash but this is my second one in a row that i opened at it of course is the reshoot from the first one because I, I miffed the first one with not out turning my audio on because i'm a noob uh but uh yeah i opened up a full art borderless um force negation so of course there's my money back right there uh from that pack so beautiful cards in here again what can wizards do now uh to to up their game when cards like this kazali pride mage is basically worthless like this is a thing if they would have made the rarity a lot harder like these coming in like way less packs so they would have for, for example just done draft packs and this would have been like an expedition uh like maybe that would have been the better you know route to go but i mean they can just make so much money on creating these um you know these booster packs it costs them the same amount of money to create this as it does any other booster pack i mean yeah there's some foil foiling treatment and possibly more ink and stuff on these but overall the production cost is definitely not much more than say your average card uh of printing so they're making a killing off of these type of stuff and i guess that's why they need to continue to do stuff because you know money the the money printer here they got going on is really working for them keep your costs down and for every penny you save on costs is you know money you make uh, towards your your overall uh net profit so anyway that's collector's boosters these omega packs so far that's my i've opened up two of them they've come a distributor there's no way they're searched again i get it i get why people uh would say they are because you saw that that thing just split right open i mean the 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 the, the uh glue everywhere on this stuff yeah definitely looks sketchy as sketchy but anyway there's my review of the omega packs they are available i think i'll have some available for 50 dollar patrons or above just that's what I, I a lot of times what i do is I either go on buggles house of booty which is our auction house um on our discord channel or they go for my high-end patrons as a way to kind of uh, give them back for being high-end patrons so if you're are interested in becoming a patron or our patron want to bump up to that level that's a lot of times where i save the super super exclusive product is there so been be able to scoop up a fair amount of these 
and that's probably where they'll end up. So still, I think they're a good deal, even even at like the distributor cost now of, of I think I've been picking up, like I said, at 60 bucks, not bad value. Not sure how much these are going for on Teach Player. It, it didn't look, but um, yeah. Anyway, there's my review of the Mega Packs from Double Masters. Thanks for watching.